Thank you for your availability. My pleasure. And uh, uh, I would like you to describe us what is Fundamenta. Fundamenta is actually a management company. Uh, therefore, we have several funds under management. Um, the reason we're here today is because within our funds we have one fund which is a venture capital fund. It's among the biggest venture capital fund in Italy. And it's uh, the most peculiar one uh, due to the fact that it's the only one who decided to invest only once there is a patent behind an invention. I see. So you don't do very early stage investments, uh, you do a later stage investment. We also do early stage investment and seed investments. Uh, we are working on a special vehicle for seed investments. Uh, however, what is important is the uh, availability of the entrepreneur to take the invention and patent it with us. Uh, therefore, if we don't have a patent yet, we work together with the entrepreneur to have the patent be deposited uh, within the European Patent Office. I see. Um, you mentioned that you invest uh, both in Italy and outside of Italy. Can you describe that a little bit? That's correct. Um, this is another peculiarity of our fund, that is, being a technology transfer fund, we want to, uh, let's say, um, reach the best of the technology which is around the world. Therefore, we want to work within a network of knowledge. Uh, this is the reason why a small amount of uh, our capital is devoted to investments in other international funds. And our peculiarity is that uh, whenever we invest in another fund, we decide to share our deal flow. Uh, we had already invested in France, in Spain and in Israel. And each of those funds is specialized in a specific technology that is biotech or clean tech. But Exchanging the deal flow enables us and them to better evaluate the content of the invention, to understand whether something else has been already uh, invented somewhere else, uh, maybe in Italy or in Israel or whenever. And also it's a matter of sharing technical competences, financial competences within our team and their team. So it's uh, the best way to reduce the investment risk, which is uh, one of the, let's say, the key performance indicator of venture capital. Uh, taking the risk uh, the lowest as possible is uh, very often a matter of knowledge. Um, so what is the state of the art today uh, in uh, technology transfer as far as you are concerned? Uh, how is it working? Let's say in, in general, um, where we have to divide between Italy, Europe and the rest of the world, uh, I see in Italy it's a process which is uh, increasing, yet there is a significant gap between Italy and uh, even the other European uh, countries. Uh, one, there are several reasons for that, uh, but it's interesting to note if you have a look to the European Innovation Scoreboards that there are several indicators who basically lead to, let's say, uh, the, the, the degree of innovativeness of each country. One of those indicators is the presence of venture capital fund. Uh, Italy, if you take the European average, has an index which is less than 20% of the European average. That is, venture capitalists is not developed in Italy. But venture capitalist is not uh, just a fancy uh, financial instrument, it is really an industrial system. That is, it enables um, research, basic research, to be transformed into industrial applications. Uh, we don't work on uh, financial tools, we work on uh, basic industrial concepts. We take the invention, we analyze the market, we build up an entrepreneurial team, we see whether this company works, we see the market application, sometimes we uh, make this company meet in the customer and we deliver the new technology into the market. And let me say this is also uh, the benefit for, for the overall society, it's not just uh, looking to the financial return. So, uh, if you had the opportunity of make a single recommendation of how to increase uh, the fluidity, the smoothness of the process, what would be your highest priority? Let's say there are several uh, streams uh, that in Italy we should concentrate on. Uh, the first one, which is pretty common uh, to other countries, but uh, it maybe in Italy is 
a little bit worse, is the uh, willingness of researchers to be to transform themselves into entrepreneurs. Sometimes we have very good ideas, but nobody wants to be the one who leads that idea into further research, into development, and make it a company. Uh, we receive sometimes a list of patents, very nice, nobody wants to transform those patents into enterprises. We are not those who will take the patents and transform them into enterprise. We need an entrepreneur. So, and this is maybe something that needs to be strengthened for specific training programs. The other side is um, we also need to reinforce uh, exit strategies. Uh, and in Italy, unfortunately, we don't have uh, so far an, an industrial environment with very big companies, which makes sometimes exit strategies of new technologies very difficult to be achieved whenever you want to license or to sell the company to a big, big player. And the reason why we are also working at uh, a European level is that quite often the exit strategy of our investment won't be in Italy but would be through some uh, big players uh, worldwide. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, my pleasure.